Welcome, brave souls, to a spine-chilling journey into the haunting world of folklore. In this gripping tale, we delve into the terrifying legend, a malevolent spirit that roams the dark corners of South America's Llanos region. In the vast countryside of the Llanos region in South America, a towering thin creature roams, carrying the bones of his victims in a sack, whistling along the way. Beware, for if you hear his haunting whistle, it may already be too late. This terror of the plains is known as El Silbon, or the Whistler. But how did this once human being become the monstrous figure he is today? Emaciated figure standing over three meters tall, with elongated limbs and a sack slung over his back. This malevolent ghost is cursed by his own grandfather for killing his father. El Silbon wanders the plains of the Los Llanos region, haunted by his past actions. He carries his father's bones in a sack and releases mournful whistles into the air, giving him his chilling name. El Silbon's transformation into a vengeful ghost stems from a tragic event. The young man was deeply in love with a woman his family disapproved of, a prostitute. In a fit of rage, his father murdered the woman. Driven by revenge, the son killed his own father. From that moment on, El Silbon became a restless spirit, forever condemned to roam the plains. El Silbon has a purpose in his wanderings. He hunts womanizers, cheaters, and drunks, perhaps influenced by the role his murderous father and the woman he loved played in his fate. No one is safe from his wrath, and even innocent victims may fall into his path. As he approaches, his haunting whistle fills the air, sometimes accompanied by the rattling of his victim's bones from his sack. It was a moonlit night, and a rancher had organized a gathering. However, Caution echoed through the air as friends warned a man about the dangers of venturing alone through the treacherous plains on such a dark night. Undeterred, the man insisted on attending the celebration, confident in his ability to protect himself. Mounted on his horse, the man embarked on his solitary ride. The horse galloped swiftly, its hooves pounding against the ground. But as they reached a stream, an abrupt halt startled both man and beast. A distant whistle resonated through the night, gradually growing louder. The horse, spooked by the haunting sound, threw the man off its back. Silence followed, as if the whistler had retreated. The man turned, only to find a figure of immense height, its face concealed by elongated limbs that seemed almost skeletal. With a menacing strike of a stick, the creature attacked, taunting the man's futile attempts to defend himself with a machete. The monster mercilessly beat him, relishing in his agony, before departing with haunting laughter. Bruised and battered, the man painfully reunited with his horse and made his way to the party. Seeking answers, he recounted the harrowing encounter to his fellow revelers. Their faces paled and they crossed themselves. The ranch owner revealed the truth. The man had faced El Silbon, the whistler. A stroke of luck had spared him, as most of the monster's victims do not survive. El Silbon revels in toying with his prey, leaving a trail of fear in his wake. The chilling characteristic of his whistle serves as an eerie warning. When it sounds nearby, it falsely assures safety. Yet as the whistle grows distant, the threat draws closer. El Silbon exhibits particular brutality towards drunks, extracting alcohol from their stomachs through a ghastly hole before removing their bones from the same opening. The theft of bones is the cruelest fate El Silbon bestows upon his victims. Without their bones, they cannot find peace in death, forever trapped in his cursed existence. Those who ignore his whistle or fail to take action when he lurks outside their door face dire consequences. An innocent member of their household shall perish. But there is hope against this malevolent spirit. El Silbon harbors an intense hatred for dogs, creatures that tore him apart. If you find yourself facing his presence, a loyal canine companion can be your salvation. Their presence drives away his lost soul. The question is, where is the beginning of this creature? By the 19th century, livestock, introduced by Spanish colonizers in 1548, flourished, with the cattle population soaring to a staggering 4.5 million by the early 19th century. It is within this landscape of ranching that El Silbon finds its roots. El Silbon's distinctive hat, a prominent feature of his appearance, finds its significance in the attire worn by the ranchers of the region. As tensions mounted against the Spanish occupiers in the Llanos and surrounding areas, 
The booming cattle population acted as a catalyst for the Llaneros, those who worked the ranches, to join the revolutionary forces of Simon Bolivar in 1818. Skilled horsemen and fighters, they played a pivotal role in dealing the crucial blow to the Spanish crown in the Battle of Boyaca. The Venezuelan War of Independence and the ensuing devastation to crops and livestock brought monumental changes to the region. By 1823, the once flourishing cattle population dwindled to a mere 256,000. The introduction of cattle by the Spanish and the active participation of ranchers in the fight for independence shaped the complex history that permeates the legend of El Silbon. El Silbon's story has transcended time, leaving an indelible mark on Venezuelan culture. Since 1974, an annual Venezuelan music festival celebrates not only El Silbon, but also the rich tapestry of Llanero folklore. The haunting figure has been immortalized through a statue in a Venezuelan theme park and featured in his own horror movies. Even former Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez referenced El Silbon in a 2003 speech, emphasizing its deep-rooted significance. El Silbon's legacy extends beyond popular culture. While some may laugh or make lighthearted jokes about his appearance, there remains an undercurrent of fear among the younger generation. They speak of hearing his chilling whistle in the dead of night, reminding us that the myth of El Silbon continues to thrive, perpetuating a tradition that spans centuries. Understanding the fears that lurk in the shadows, the hidden depths of our folklore, is vital. Today, the myth of El Silbon remains an active part of Llano's folklore, keeping the flame of tradition alive and weaving its enigmatic threads into the fabric of Venezuelan heritage. That was the story of El Silbon. Thank you for listening until the end. Expect another Scary Legends on the channel soon. If you enjoyed the story, leave a like or subscribe. See you later.